officially time for the most anticipated return in entertainment history. You guys have been asking for him. You guys have been begging for him. You guys have been fiending for him. Light-skinned Sherlock Holmes has returned and he is back to solve yet another mystery. <laughs> And before anybody asks why half of my face is super dark, because I know you guys want to see the full, shining, full face every single video. It was pretty crazy, actually. Like, I was just sitting here, minding my own business, drinking some delicious room temperature water, when a weird little water goblin ran into my room and knocked the cup out of my hand, spilling it everywhere all over my desk and it got into my light and it's broken so in case anybody hasn't been warned yet there is a water goblin going around spilling water randomly i did not spill it myself do not blame me no one can identify this celebrity that is until today that is until today right now i was just talking about this earlier i have a special skill okay i am really good at identifying famous people based on what else i've also seen them in you know what i mean you know when you see a guy in a thing and you're like oh my god i've seen that guy in the other thing i'm great at that dude also shout out our favorite jorge blame it on jorge dude it's been a minute. Do you recognize this celebrity? While this may seem like a simple to answer question, this mystery has plagued Reddit users for several years. Thank you for ruining my life by posting this. This is actually driving me insane. I've honestly spent ages trying to not only figure out who the person is, but also find the photo, and I've had zero luck. We need all of Reddit on this. It must be solved. But why is it so difficult to identify this person? To answer that... Is this the guy? Is this the guy? Let's go to the beginning. He looks like, um... He, he looks like... Like a... Like a mute... Like a... Like a... What's his name? Cobain? Type of deal? Like a musician type of guy. That's what he looks like. He gives me... He gives... He looks like he plays the guitar. You know? I'm getting those vibes. 2020. You know? A Reddit user. Like, he's not the lead of, like, a... Of, like, a... Of, like, a weird, like, indie pop punk band. You know? He's, like... He's, like, the guitar. You know? Name he's, like, the Honda third guy H that people care about. Made this post on the r slash movies. Who are these movie stars in this fabric? I have had currents made of this fabric for over 10 years. Maybe from 2008, but I still haven't recognized all the movie stars. Hopefully you can help me to recognize them and find the corresponding photo of the celebrity. Linked to the post was an image of the fabric with several celebrities, each numbered 1 through 8. Okay. Within the day, I know these Redditors people. were yeah. to identify most of them. I think that's Number Lil one Mama. is Adriana Lima. Oh. Number two is Josh Holloway. Number three is also Adriana Lima. Number four is Jessica Alba. Number five is Travis Fimmel. Number seven is Ian Summerhalder. And number eight is Orlando Bloom. If you want me to be completely honest with you, if you want me to be completely honest with you, I know Jessica Alba and Orlando Bloom and all those other people you just made up. You just met, none of those are real celebrities. You made all those names up. The only one that remained unidentified was celebrity number six. Though some had suggestions. Is six Sienna Miller? Oh, I've always thought that six is a man. Have you found the corresponding photo? No, it just looks exactly like her to me. From the No Stupid Questions subreddit, when user writes, Six is a dead ringer for Nikki Taylor, but she's a former supermodel, not a movie star. So One is it, do we know they're a movie star? Like, for certain. Noted something interesting. 
seems odd that a few of them are from Lost, but not all of them. It's not like Josh Holloway had a lot going on before that role, that he'd be on a collection of celebs. Fabric has clearly been designed when Lost was a popular TV show. The TV show Lost aired from 2004 to 2010. Look, it's this guy right here. The TV it, case show closed, Lost dude. From Look at it, right here. This guy right here in the back. Oh, loud and proud, dude. It's that guy right there. Same hair, same build, everything. Case closed. 2004 to 2010. He's right there. And Tonsa H stated that they acquired the fabric from maybe 2008. So this seems to match up. As such, one of the earliest leads in the search was Evangeline Lilly for her role in Lost. However, a matching photograph was never discovered. You see, each of the identified celebrities seems to have their design based on an existing photo. It's speculated that the designer used a program like Adobe Illustrator, for example, to trace the image, simplifying the original photo into a mere two colors. For example, the artwork for celebrity number four, Jessica Alba, was taken from this photo of Alba from the 2007 Teen Choice Awards. Right. Dude, we've got, artwork. dude, What's we've got, we're in the year of 2024. Somebody throw that bitch into a fucking AI and find it right now. Google lens that, Google lens that son of a bitch right now. Case fucking closed, dude. Pulled from Josh Holloway. Case closed. Uh, you Google lens that bitch. It'll fucking pull it up and it'll fucking show you the, uh, the OG, dude. Uh, what, what, has anybody tried that? From GQ dude. Magazine's Men of the Year in 2004. So on and so forth. Point is that each celebrity has a corresponding photo from which their design on the fabric was based on, except celebrity number six. Do y'all think Orlando Bloom kind of looked like me? Also, all the original photos were taken sometime between 1999 and 2007, a year or so before Tonsa H bought the fabric. This okay. Gives... Here's also a, here's also a crazy theory. What if? What if it's not a celebrity and it's just the person, you know, like whoever made the fabric, they just f slap themselves in there with it as like Seven. a little, a year or so before a little Easter bought the fabric. This gives us a good time frame for when the original celebrity number six photo was likely taken. That's a theory somebody in the comments had. Okay, so I'm not the only, I'm not the only one. Tonsa H would post about this strange mystery on a myriad of subreddits. However, none of them got very far. It wasn't until a year later that the mystery was reposted on r slash tip of my tongue. And this is when the mystery really took off. Hundreds of comments and celebrity suggestions came pouring in. Patrick Swayze. Taylor, Kim Bassinger, the lead singer of AHA, the lead singer of The Doors, and plenty of others. I've See, that's what I'm saying. That's what I said. Like, a, a good... He looks like he plays fucking guitar. Stay on this. I have sent it to a dozen people. You know who he reminds me of? You know why I think he plays guitar? Hold on. Let me see. If they Elite show him again, the dude. Where are we at? 432. Let me pull the guy up again. Let me, let me pull the guy up again. Where is he? Where is he? You ever seen... You ever seen Drake and Josh... You ever seen, you ever, am I tripping? Am I tripping? You know the episode where he wins the guitar? It's like a fancy schmancy guitar. Is that the same guy? Hundreds of comments and celebrity suggestions or am I are stupid? pouring in. Such as Rachel Taylor, Kim Bassinger. Josh the broke the guitar. Baja. Yeah, the guitar that broke, but not the guitar player. When they went to the guitar store, you know what I mean? The guy that was working at the guitar store from the one episode. See what I'm saying? I'm great at this, dude. I'm in some obscure episode from a show one time. This is what I'm saying, dude. Celebrity suggestions came pouring in. The guitar world guy? Yeah. Kim the guy that works at Guitar at World. Baja. He's like, here at Guitar World? Gee, I don't know. That's what he looks like. 
the lead singer of The Doors, and plenty of others. I've spent all day on this. Or am I tripping? I have sent it to a dozen people. How can this sub, out of all places, not identify someone who was supposedly famous enough to make it to this current fabric? While the other seven celebrities were quickly identified with little debate, celebrity number six was less unanimous. Or as Tonsa H himself puts it, there is now over 200 guesses, and I haven't seen any photo that meets my requirements of the correct one, and I haven't had time to investigate all photos of 200 persons. One Redditor, a user named Metal Bracelet, posed an interesting question. Where did the fabric slash currents come from? My closest guess was Muriel Hemingway, but I can't find a matching picture. Is there a tag on it? Taunts the age replies with, Fabric is from some fabric store. It was bought around 2008 to 2009. It has been available from some online store, also in red slash orange color. Indeed, there is a red version of the fabric that can be found on a website called fabrichouse.com. The item is plainly listed as decorative fabric with movie stars. Oh wow. And the first image clearly shows Very celebrity number six. Searchers were quick to find it on other domains, such as dumblatex.cz, dumblatex. Yeah, dude, those websites are not shady at all, man. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I'm not gonna wake up with one less kidney after clicking on one of those links, dude. Yeah. Absolutely. Let me let me click on dumblatex.cz and somebody's asshole just flashes in my face, dude. .sk, blackkey.cz, and even a German website. It's believed that the red version was sold outside of Finland, whereas the blue version was only available in Finland. In fact, that is where Tansa H got his. However, as of now, the blue version has never been found on sale. But it's worth repeating that Tonsa H bought his all the way back in 2008 or 2009. On a similar note, the fabric was sold on eBay, according to Tonsa H. The seller was contacted, and they supposedly claimed that celebrity number six was either Johnny Depp or Brad Pitt. This is you know, Brad Pitt is, is interesting. Because the gender of celebrity number six is up for debate. Weird because that person is kind of androgynous. The eyebrow, nose, and body seem feminine, but the jawline looks masculine. I'm pretty sure it's a woman, but damn, I can't tell. Yeah, I've always thought it's a man, but now most of the suggestions have been women. While Opie originally thought that celebrity number six I think was it's a dude. I'm getting dude vibes. I'm getting dude with long hair vibes. Especially because he's wearing a button-up shirt. He's got a he's got a he's got a button-up shirt with a collar on. I I think this is a dude. Male, most people seem to agree that they are likely a woman, but that isn't anywhere near. I the strongly center. disagree. We don't know for sure. I strongly disagree. Another point of debate is the celebrity's clothing. Some weekend thoughts. I've been through a ton of Getty image event shots up until 2010 for people we've suspected slash actresses of the era. Some actors too, nothing yet. I will say that all the A-listers definitely aren't showing up to the red carpet events in a button up. They are always in a suit or a ball gown. However, TV stars and C-list types do dress more casually for whatever events they are asked to go to. In response, a different user named I'm the Man in the Bag discovered the fabric came from the Czech Republic. I'm the Man in the Bag. This is like a whole other rabbit hole, dude. There was a man found in a bag, and this is the guy. I think the only hope is to somehow track down the designer. News everywhere. This fabric also seems to come from or was sold by the Ladke Morass Company in the Czech Republic. Check out this newsletter for the Prague Patchwork meeting from February 2013, in which Ladki Morass speaks about their fabric vendors. They state that their vendor include Robert Kaufman, Michael Miller, and Clothworks. I'm waiting for the day that the celebrity is just like, dude, that's that's just me. The, like whoever it is, they're like, yeah, it's just it's it's literally me. And then here's the picture. If you recall, 
Latke was one of the discovered domains that sold this fabric. Robert Kaufman was contacted by Redditor Datacap0101, but according to them, Kaufman could not disclose the names of their designers. I'm the Man in the Bag contacted both Michael Miller and Clothworks. However, they denied having any involvement with the fabric. Following this post's popularity, the official Celebrity Number 6 subreddit was created, and the search was on. Redditors quickly got to work, exploring every- Now, I'm assuming since this video is fairly new, that they haven't found it, figured out who the fuck it is yet. ...plus will lead or idea that could solve this mystery. Moderator PM Your Ears emailed Getty Images and Alamy, but they could not find the reference photo. On the fashion forums, threads about identifying models can be found. Someone made a comment inquiring about the identity of celebrity number six, but nothing came out of it. One of the more interesting celebrity suggestions was fashion model Jane Windsor. She was first brought to attention in November of 2021, and supposedly was most active between the late 90s to early 2000s. I don't know who the fuck the model that is. Fit in with the time frame, and many were confident that she was celebrity number six. Dude, you know what's crazy? It's like either this this mystery celebrity is not an actual celebrity, right? They're just some random fucking person that's just on this fabric for whatever reason, or they're an actual celebrity, but somehow nobody knows who the fuck they are, which is kind of fucked. Could you imagine? Being the celebrity and nobody knows you well enough to identify you? That's kind of fucked. The next day, I'll be so she upset. reached out via Instagram. A very <laughs> clear picture of me. And then you guys are like, I've got no fucking idea who that is. Oh, I'd be heartbroken. The hell? Confirm that it wasn't her. Hi there. It's not me, and I'm afraid I don't recognize the model either. Sorry I couldn't help. Circling back to the red version of the fabric, it was supplied by a company called Dom Latex. On August 2022, this company was contacted by Reddit user QWAPMATE9001, and their response, when translated, was quite interesting. QWAPMATE9001 writes, Hi, just wondering if you have any info on this stuff. More specifically, who is on the fabric? There is an internet mystery going on trying to identify one of the celebrities, but no one has a clue. Domlet Tuck responds with, quote, Hello, I'm sorry. We don't know exactly which celebrities are involved. In the past, we've also tried to find out which celebrity it was, because we know that it's an internet mystery. Unfortunately, even the supplier does not know who is on the fabric. The motif was created by a designer who no longer works here, but we asked to contact the designer, and this is the answer. She didn't remember. She doesn't remember! All the yeah, the dude! Design. What the fuck you mean you don't remember? You look at it, you're like, oh yeah, I have no fucking idea who that is. I just slapped her ass on there. Like, what? Like, what? Now, you know what my theory is now? Here's my theory. That's not an actual celebrity. Here's my theory, right? The designer was just trying to make a fabric with celebrities on it. So they were just going through like a magazine. You know what I'm saying? They were just going through like a magazine and they're like, Jessica Alba, put her on there. Orlando Bloom, put her on there. Fucking Bob the fucking builder, put him on there, dude. You know what I mean? And then she like flipped to a page of like a of like a aloe vera ad. You know what I mean? You know how they got you know how they got ads in the in in magazines, you know what I'm saying? For like sometimes it's like fa like I think that was just the guy from like the fancy cologne. From like the, from like the advertisement. And she's just like, "Oh, that guy, slap him on there." And it's like it's not an actual celebrity. Like, it's just a, it's just a guy from the, like, in a page of a magazine. You know what I mean? Um, the Hello magazine from the summer. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a State Farm advertisement 
in inside of Vogue, and it's just that he that he's just in there. And they're like, oh, d d that guy, put him in there. 2015, so it remains a bit of a mystery. This is interesting because not only does the supplier not know, but they are aware of the mystery and were even eager to see it solved. More importantly, the designer also stated that all of the artwork came from a Hello magazine from 2015. See? That's what I fucking said! That's what I just said! It came from a fucking magazine! That's what I said, dude. She's just flipping through. She doesn't know who any of these celebrities are. She has no idea who, or, or, the, or he, they, the person, has no idea who, who these celebrities are. They don't know who Jessica Alba is. They don't know who Orlando Bloom is. They don't know who Bob the fucking Builder is, dude. They don't know who these people are. They were just they were just trying to make a fabric with celebrities and then sell it. And they just took some guy just in like an ad. That doesn't really fit in well with our timeline. All of the other designs were based on photos taken years prior to 2015. And Tonsa H stated that they purchased the fabric in 2008 or 2009. In fact, he doubled down on this. It should be noted that the earliest record of the fabric's existence online is from an Instagram account in March 2017. Before that, nothing. No posts, photos, or even archive listings. All we have is Tonsa's word, but even his earliest Reddit posts were made after 2017. If the fabric was designed in 2015 and released sometime later, this would line up well. This has casted some doubt that Tonsa H had the fabric all the way back in 2008. On the other hand, there really is no reason for Tonsa H to lie, and he's been a very active Did anybody of find the magazine? Has anybody found a copy of the magazine? Search to this day. Also, the claim that all of these celebrity images came from one 2015 magazine seems utterly false. To make things even more elusive, a supposed purple variant of the fabric is rumored to exist. A variant? And the owner apparently had it a few years There's before a multiverse. 2015. But so far, no images of this purple variant have ever been found. Either way, it is strange for the designer to misremember a date so specifically. Most have concluded to disregard this comment. Another popular lead from the subreddit is a French model named Philippa Hamilton. On February 2023, Reddit user Lol A Girl Forever posted the cover of Glamour Magazine Italy from 2004, featuring Hamilton. Comments were mostly positive, with the only real attraction being Hamilton's Widow's Peak, which Celebrity Number 6 did not have. And the hair's different! Unlike all the other leads, Hamilton was successfully contacted via Instagram and confirmed that it was her. Someone tagged her in a photo of celebrity number six and asked, is this you? To which Hamilton responded, yes. Yeah, no, she's just, she's just yapping, dude. She's just like, yeah, oh yeah, that's me. Yeah, absolutely. She would later post her own comparison photo on her Instagram stories. Yeah, but so, there's no, I think she's clout chasing because Th that's not the photo. She's just like, yeah, that's me. See, look, that's me. That's not, dude. Them pics look AI as hell. My problem is that it's not the pic. You know what I mean? We seen the pic of all of the other ones, but this one we don't have the pic, and none of these are this. Like, sure. You could start talking about the resemblance of the jawline and all this shit. We can, we can do that. Great. But none of these are this picture. You know what I mean? It's not this. I want to see that. Bro, on our Instagram stories. So, case closed? No. She's a... N not a really. Fibber. Big fat liar. While most liar. searchers believe Hamilton to be the strongest lead so far... The exact photo used for her design on the fabric is still lost. 
it gets weirder because Philippa was not the only person to confirm that they were celebrity number six. That's what I'm saying. In November of 2023, people are just like, oh yeah, that's model me. Model Roger Garth was suggested as a possible candidate. And she's like, Garth was active in the early 2000s and has quite distinct features. This is one of the most androgynous looking faces posted here, which could explain the disagreements on the gender. I could never decide if I thought it was a woman or a beautiful man. Something about the body read more masculine to me. His facial features are so similar, especially the eyes. This is a really good guess. I'm adding him to my list of suspects. One redditor found this image with a familiar looking tattoo. It was long assumed that this squiggle was merely part of celebrity number six clothing, but could it instead be taken from Garth's tattoo? Garth was contacted by members of the search team, and like with Hamilton, he confirmed that he was celebrity number See? six. See, look, it, it just, it's me. It's me. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's not you. You just saying it is. He even specified. Where's the picture? Show me the picture if it's you. A location and date. Japan in 2005. Likewise, Garth posted a photo of the fabric on his Instagram stories. Despite all of this, the exact photo has not been found. But see, and I this. also know, I also know that it's Cap, because none of those people have any relation to the other celebrities. You know what I mean? Like, the other celebrities, they're all the, right, Jessica Alba, Orlando Bloom, you know what I'm saying, Bob the Builder, you know what I'm saying, Dippity Dip Doodah, whoever the fuck those other people were, right? They're all actors, they're all actors. You know what I mean? And now we're looking at models. So, like, it's making me think that it's an actor. You know what I mean? What's it? People aren't going to be satisfied until it's the photo. I think it's lost in a magazine somewhere. That's what I'm saying. The photo. That's what I need to see. As of the writing of this video. Dude, I think my theory is the most plausible. Like, it's just, it, they were just, they just slapped random people they seen in a magazine and called it a day. That's and it's just a guy who's not involved in anything. That's where the mystery stands. New theories, suggestions, and the occasional shitpost are posted onto the subreddit almost every day. Dwayne Johnson! Someone tried to reverse engineer the original I agree, photo dude, it's using the fucking AI rock. to see what it might have looked like. One redditor even visited one of the Lasky Morass stores in Prague but nothing happened. And there are a few who think celebrity number six wasn't even anyone famous. It might have been simply an employee or the designer themselves. One of the subreddit's moderators was kind enough to send me a list of their most likely candidates. Should anyone find an image Brad of- Pitt. Make, Brad Pitt would make sense. Johnny Depp would make sense. That is absolutely not Kira fucking Knightley. I don't know who the fuck said that. One of these celebrities that matches. It is not Kristen Stewart either. Matches celebrity number six. Feel free to leave a comment or reach out via email. Currently, the subreddit has their eyes focused on Natasha Pauly, a Russian model who began her career in 2004. But until the exact photo can be found, it will remain a mystery. That's an, the theory is a person ain't real. Okay, but I don't think it's AI because like there's, like the fabric is being sold. You know what I mean? Like they seen the variants of the fabric being sold. You know what I'm saying? I think, I think this could also be like a Sheen type of deal. You know what I mean? Like, you know how Sheen just like makes anything it could be like one of those, you know what I'm saying? Like, I still think my theory works, dude. Like, it's just some guy or some company that's just like trying to just make fabric with celebrities on it and sell it, you know what I mean? And it's just like some cheap, fake, you know, thing. And so whoever did it just like slapped a bunch of people onto a fucking thing and it's like, boom. 1999 a square fucking foot. Let's do it.
Let's fucking do it. You know what I'm saying? My wardrobe is not full of sheen, and that is not the fucking point of, of what I'm saying. Stay on topic here. Let us, let us, let's stay on topic here. Th let me tell you who that person is. That is just some random fucking dude who was in like a, in like a, in like a Ralph Lauren ad, like a, like a Ralph Lauren fucking like advertisement for, a, for a cologne. And they just, he just, that poor guy just got slapped onto the fucking fabric and called the day, dude. Boom. Case is closed. You, you, everybody can fucking go home now. Everybody can go home now. If you need to know the guy's name, it's, it's, it's Bob the fucking Builder, dude. That's his name. There you go. Shit.